do not attempt to adjust your sets. This is a Wally News TV issue. It cannot be traced, it cannot be bought, and it is the only free voice left in this city. Hello and Happy New Year 2008 to you Wally News watchers out there. Today, Wally News goes deep into the 10 most defining moments of the past year, raises expectations for the coming year, and shows just how low the Democrats would go in order to win their party leadership and run for the White House. Don't say we didn't warn you. So, what could possibly define an entire year? Wally News braves the task and brings forth what we determined were the most defining occurrences of 2007. At number 10, German physicist Professor Ludwig Splatt was tragically killed falling off the edge of the world trying to prove that Galileo was right about it being round. Head of the Berlin University commented, we warned him not to try it. At number 9, on the 19th of March, United States Armed Forces completed Operation Nebraska Liberation by toppling the terror regime in the dictatorial state and erecting a magnanimous puppet democracy instead. A new Nebraska state governor has been elected, Mr. Louis Lickbuns, and he is announced to be a true patriot and America lover. Liberal insurgencies still claim the souls of voters, though, and so far no end to the strife is seen. At number 8, the Illuminasa, puppet masters of Earth and space and at least 14 parallel universes were caught trying to hide the impending stellar doom embodied in pop star Britney Spears considering making a new album. EMI Records moved this label into Atomic Bunker in preparation. At number 7, Lenin's latest attempt to take over the world using painted over version of communism called Windows Vista was foiled due to anonymous tip coming to Wally News from a source inside Apple computers. Millions breathed easier when pirate versions of the capitalistic system Windows XP were still available on demand. At number 6, an in-depth study done on 32 women in the constantly bombed city of Sderot proved that half the women in Israel are on the verge of mental breakdown. Israeli minister was quoted saying, they're the lucky ones, the other half is way past that verge. Number 5. In a stunning development and despite all efforts, US President Saddam Walker Bush did not grow a brain. In number 4. Danish biochemist Ginter von Forgetov found cure to senility but forgot it before he could write it down. And number three, Democrats won a victory in the Senate, managing to push forth a bill to withdraw U.S. troops from occupied Carolina. I'm sorry, occupied California. U.S. commander in California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, said, I will be back. At number two, liberal agents were stopped while attempting to obliterate Nashville. The world will have to suffer country music this year, too. How sad. At number 1, a tree was found stuck on a cat in Oregon. Firemen were baffled. Now, au contraire, here's what Wally News experts expect to see happening this year. In number 1, hair loss in aging marsupials would be discovered at last to be the main cause of global warming. A cure is likely to be researched. And number 2, the nuclear winter will not end this year. 96 SP radiation filter creams are still necessary for your health. At number 3, the US Minister of Science, Contra Lisa Rice, will achieve the Zen Holy Grail, a state of complete nothingness of mind. At number 4, global warming will cause a third cold winter in a row, increasing the icebergs and generally making people feel cold. In number 5, despite all efforts, President Bush will not grow a brain. In number 6, 48 years old Queen of the Track, Marlon Otti, 
will participate in the 2008 China Olympics. Number 7. Wish hunting in Europe will be on the rise. Number 8. The Republicans will win the US elections. Number 9. A Microsoft program that actually works will not be invented this year either. And in number 10, finally, some good news. The war in Micronesia will end at last after 400 and excuse me, after 542 straight years of fighting between Chief Wasabi and Chief Why You Call Me clans. And now, leading Democrat Party candidates for the 2008 presidential elections hit a new low in Iowa this week, mere days before the primaries. In an attempt to regain lost support, Hillary Ingham Winston, wife of Bill and mistress to Al Gore has declared that unless she gets the votes, she will have her daughter Chelsea do a full frontal nudity shot, raising a surge of panic in the masses. HIV's threat borders on terrorism, said one political analyst. Why, the mere thought of Chelsea's face makes me ill. Winston's main rival, Muslim Afro Jewish Protestant redneck Derek Omawa, warned that he is considering pressing charges against HIV on accounts of blackmail, terror and alien pornography. However, Obama himself isn't lagging behind. In an attempt to further raise the mass support in him, Obama recently discovered that besides being Muslim of a Jewish origin, Afro-American with a Native American ancestry and a fanatic KKK supporter, he is also Turkish half Chinese and may contain traces of knots. Furthermore, Obama spent an hour of speech in Idaho on brutal attacks against HIV. Hillary is mad with power, he said, and she doesn't realize that she is simply not equipped for the job. Why, think of all those poor female White House interns, what's she gonna do them with? Use a cigar? The internal strife further weakens the Democratic Party. Republicans were seen cheering and raising toasts to the self-destructive Democrats. In official sources within the Republican Party told Wall News reporters that the Democrats will probably lose the coming election despite the anti-Republican surge in the public. Once we have a candidate, said a source, he'll declare his intention to pull US troops out of Iraq, Iran, Canada and maybe even Nebraska, and you'll see how the public falls for it again and votes us into the White House one more time. This Wally News issue now comes to an end. Wally News would have preferred to bring you a full issue with 2-3 articles, but all our correspondents are on holiday with the exception of Donna Kilme, who is currently going intensive treatments after suffering a vicious rhino attack. Until next time, remember that Wall News don't care about the ratings, therefore we bring you only 100% real, proven facts. Happy New Year!